Good morning, good morning, good morning, fellow citizens. Good morning, Ugandans. It is 4.30 a.m. in the USA, and I've just reported for duty. Yes, fellow countrymen, especially those in uniform like me, those in uniform like me, the medics, yesterday I was faced with what I call an ethical dilemma. An ethical dilemma. My fellow countrymen who are in the USA, who are citizens in the USA, staged protests around hospitals, protesting the flying out of senior citizens from Uganda to USA for treatment. I felt let down, especially in the medical practice. And this is happening simply because my colleagues have taken a back seat. Fellow medics, please, the USA will have what we call geriatric medicine, geriatric facilities. We have now reached a stage in Uganda where we are going to have so many of these fellow citizens popping up like candles. Don't forget we just had somebody popping up in Switzerland. We just had a governor, Bank of Uganda, popping up in Nairobi, in Kenya. And now we have a set of frail men flown in USA, which includes, I think, a prime minister, a speaker of parliament, and others that we don't know. Fellow citizens, it's high time we thought of a geriatric facility. If not, develop just Mulago Hospital, the sixth floor of Mulago Hospital, put in special facilities to cater for these old people. These are old people who are going to die. Death is definite. And we should accord them dignity of dying. I just pray that Jacob Olanya, Honorable Jacob Olanya, the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, survives and is able to read, to read, to see what has happened. There is a global protest. There are people protesting in UK, people protesting in USA, people protesting in the country. How he has been accorded special treatment. Shall we afford to accord all the senior citizens who are going to die special treatment in special facilities abroad? If it costs the country 1.5 billion US, uh, Ugandan shillings. An equivalent of 500,000 US dollars to treat one senior citizen. How many of them are we going to fly out at that cost? How many of them are we going to fly out at that cost? The body of the minister, Lokodo.